Rangelands cover around 54% of the world's terrestrial area. The majority of rangelands are found in dry areas with variable rainfall and patchy vegetation. Rangelands are home to millions of pastoralists worldwide whose livestock convert this vegetation to food and livestock products whilst also conserving biodiversity and providing ecosystem services such as water retention, removal of biomass to prevent fires and carbon sequestration. However, with unsupportive policy and legislation, increasing pressures on land and blocked mobility routes, climate change and prolonged periods of drought many rangelands have become degraded. Further, pastoralists often have poor tenure security to their land without written, legally recognized documentation protecting their access, use or ownership, and thus are unwilling to invest in rangeland restoration activities, particularly those that require some financial investment. This film tells the story of three women who've taken steps to overcome these challenges, reversing degradation, restoration of lands, and improving productivity, biodiversity, and ecosystem services. Though they come from different parts of the world, their vision is the same, longer term benefits for their livelihoods and families, as well as for the broader society and the environment. We start in Africa, Baringo County, Kenya, in the Koitian Forest. Penina Kibos, the assistant chief of Kibomo sublocation, explains how her community has improved the management of the forest and surrounding areas. They have been helped by a project supporting participatory rangeland management. Women like herself have been leading rangeland restoration activities and participating in decision-making bodies, including at village level. I'm Penina, the area assistant chief, and we are now in a Koitegan forest. We had several challenges in this place. We didn't have a security cards in this forest. Deforestation was done because people were cutting charcoal. We came together with the youths even me, I was employed not long time ago. Then we decided that uh, since we have this uh, community forest, we can use it to help us. We decided to fence an acreage of 30 acres so that we can preserve there. We can plant uh, trees to build the security house to safeguard the forest. I hope you can see how the forest now is. It was very bad, but now the vegetation cover has improved. We have even wild animals that have come closer because of the vegetation. And we hope uh, we shall receive rain. Even right now, when the rain comes, because of these trees, the rain passes this area. We have medicinal herbs, we have some soils which can be used for decorating even houses and we have even grass to touch traditional houses and it will attract maybe more visitors like you and others and we shall receive funds. Moving to Kyrgyzstan, we find a national union of pasture users called Gerez Jaiti that has been established to help communities register their pasture lands, establish pasture committees, improve management of pastures and establish a pasture monitoring system. The union relies on women such as Guljan Asanova, the leader of the local Sari Bulak Pasture Users Union, to mobilize the community and build their capacity to handle technical aspects. 
Jayet komitete bu ilde başka rumenin tüzülgün bir o bir çete bulda turada sebebim ar bir adam bizim işkeniyiz, cegeniyiz, bardı Jayet'ten gelip çat. Jayet öz kanca taze olsa bizim işkence gelip tamamız aşırız da o şunca taze olur. Emin o şu Jayet'e gelgenim seyiz yıl oldu. Şu seyiz yıldan beri elderge gene düşündürümünün Jayet emnekenin hazır bardı ızga jetkilükte elder düşünüp kalışkanda. Hem Jayet'ten ildik başkarının artık çılığı, Jayet kaçıkan adamların bardığı kızıklar bol otken de Jayet kanday saktalıp kalat. Jayet'te kentken de racionaldu, efektivdü, başkarağız deyip her biri kızıklar bol böyle gelip gepterine ait bir törüşüp de Munday kılsak bol otken, bu yerde Munday jar bol paratat, bu yerde Munday kılsak bol ot deyip anan. Hem bizden öz yüzünün planımız var da. Oşol plan menen işte bizim Jayet Komitesi'de 15 adam işte, 9'u ayal. Anan ayalları başkarğın yerde ne gizli? Yani, Göp çülüğü şu, çın ele dens olupka bağıt alağızda. Orunku ötüp gitken proyekte de dağı biz dinlemiz. Jalan oşol dens olupka arnaldı, kubka saldı, veterinardı, apteka saldı. Jalan ele oşol dens olupka arnaldı proyektler öttü. Azır al proyektleriz bugün gününde cemiştü işte çatat. Çınlığında ile o şol dolborlardın hosto içi vestik bilin vatat da bugün gününde. Pasturalism is also practiced across Europe, including in the dry Mediterranean forests of Spain, managed as a silvo pastoral system locally called Dehesa. Elena Iscano and her sister work on the family farm or fika, supporting a complex and integrated system of food production, resource management, circular economy and biodiversity conservation. So the Dehesa is an agro pastoral land. It is, it is a structure by joining different components, the trees, the pasture, the animals and the humans. All of them are related and they are quite important. Actually, I think that the most important elements are the trees. They are both hormones and cork trees. They are really slow in growing, but uh, they are essential in this ecosystem. They also provide with uh, different resources such as cork and acorns. So one of the main characteristics of the Dehesa is like their soil it's uh, really really poor. So you have to understand that you are working in a in a system that uh, it needs uh, all the support you can provide. And in here there is a typical say that uh, for 10 uh, apples you make uh, you have to put back four apples to the system. So what we do mainly is like we keep the amount of animals that uh, we think it is fair for the soil and it allows us to have the rotation in order to leave the time and also the, the manure in the soil for the plants to grow again. And then we grow some pastures with different varieties of clovers that uh, get the nitrogen from there and put it back in the soil. We plant different uh, parts of legumes. And also we, we try to do like rotational cropping systems. So we, we have alfalfa for the pigs during the summer, but we make sure that the alfalfa has the right timing also with the pumpkins and also with the green peas. And on that way, you guarantee that the quality of the soil, of the part of the land that you are taking, it's going to be better the next year than the year you take it. And on the other hand, during the last year, we have been also working with microorganisms that are also a really nice uh, experience from our side. It is really beautiful because you can see clearly the, the difference of the kind of pasture that you are providing.
Investing in rangeland restoration is not without its challenges. One major issue is a lack of labour, not helped by the out-migration of the youth from pastoral areas. I mean, we can go and do things in the last year. Bar the direct change get collected. The migration, the migration men, the alec collected. Bro, the gen. Last year, the last year, the problem was that. At that, if the last year, the psa, the kizik, the psa, the kizik. The whole is that. Now, as a bro, definitely, we have to bar the gel. The kizik, we have to change the psa. We have to do it. That's it. So, we have to do it. All that, we have to do it. We Ана налар, ушул бизде жашта тие тондуктар муну деген бизден сатып кетет бе? Өсүп турган мөнче сатып кетет да, алар жасап турб на екесе бизге бичесе, бешесе гамбат кул берет. Даже пенсионер возраста деле апалар бизди казар утур калачет, ана ушул апалар да дагы ишменен камсыз булу да, андан жашрактар да ишменен камсыз булат кем биз, мундан сиркар биздеген дагы ушундай 15 аялда жамат менен Сүтті үй шартында іштеті, андан 15 продукция алған үйрет көмісті. Андан сұртқары аялдар жерінде мұна кешуені сұқтармен іштеп алып ұршу атағыз, аларды да ұқыту атағыз. Мұна азыр айлық мөтін денгелінде мен өзім депутатмын. Азыр данны өреме біз азыр бізнес инкубатор ачы атағызды. Анан ал жерден дағы ұшу жанақы үйінде отырып, Тышқа чығарға мүмкіншілі ұжық адамдарды үрі төлді атағыз. Сұпорт from outside, such as through a project, can assist women overcome some of the challenges and barriers that they face, as Assistant Chief Penina explains. The project has helped a lot. Because even women, they are included. Even me, you are seeing me as a lady, I'm included as a leader. And other women, they have benefited a lot because they are involved even in meetings, in trainings. We've learned a lot. Like even a soil sampling, we can detect this soil is good or not good. Looking to the future, the women speaking here highlight the importance of investing in the land and restoring it where it is degraded. By doing so, they are not only benefiting themselves today, but also the future generations to come. So I think this forest in future, it will be of great importance. Even we hope that we shall get even more tanks for seedlings, the seedlings that we shall plant here, so that we can get money and form more groups and initiate the growing generation. Yes, because even us, we are getting older, so those who are coming, they, they will implement what we've been doing. So I'm currently studying in Wageningen University and I'm specializing myself in agroecology. My aim will be one day to be able to raise uh, the farm with my sister and my brother if he wants to join, in a way that uh, we don't see competition in between productivity and conservation. So if we are able to define the line where we can all live from the countryside and do it in a way that it is ethical and that it's also accepted by the society. I think we can combine different lines in, in terms of production and also in terms of uh, conservation. And I think it might be a nice project, but definitely we need to all work together in order to make this feasible because we have so many papers, we have a lot of bureaucracy, we have every single day we have new technologies that are being developed for scaling up systems when we should have developed 
technologies for being able to adjust this system to its place.